hurricanes hitting the U.S., what do you think is causing them? Partially it is global warming. Like I said, the, the oil rigs, the manufacturing plants, the cars that we're driving, all that type of stuff is contributing to what's happening in the environment with us basically killing the atmosphere. So, do you think God has anything to do with the weather? I mean, who's in charge of the weather department, man or God? It, it's God. I mean, animals even plays into it with the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide that's given off from their fecal matter. So animals are causing hurricanes by going to the bathroom? Is that what I heard you say? <laughs> no, I, I'm not trying to say it like that, but I mean, I guess in a sense it kind of does. Um, there's always been floods, earthquakes, hurricanes, disease. Is everything right between man and God? Uh, it, from what we've seen with all these natural disasters that have happened, probably not. No, I would say we're in a bad relationship right now with God. What about you? Are you a good person? Do you think God's happy with you? As a human being, personally, yes, I do have my own flaws. But what do you mean by flaws? I have my flaws, you know, I drink, I smoke, you know, I cuss, you know, I... Do you lie and steal? I've lied, I don't steal. Have you ever stolen? Okay, pro yeah, I've probably stolen money once or twice. Okay. Once or twice. Um, have you ever used God's name in vain? I catch myself doing that almost every day. Okay. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Uh, again, I've probably done the same thing. So Fred, I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. That's four of the Ten Commandments. If God judges you by those commandments on Judgment Day, you're going to be innocent or guilty. I would probably be guilty. Uh, probably, you'd be guilty. Heaven or hell? I, I probably would end up in hell. Does that concern you? Yeah. Now, do you know what God did for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? Any idea? But, uh, was it John 3.16, For God so loved the world, he, only gave, he gave his only begotten Son. Yeah, do you understand the legal implications of that? Jesus died on the cross to... Uh, uh, to take away our sins with his blood. Yeah, you and I broke God's law, the Ten Commandments. It's called the moral law, and Jesus paid the fine. If you're in court and someone pays the fine, the judge can say, Fred's guilty, but someone's paid his fine. He's out of here. Well, when Jesus is on the cross, he cried out, It is finished. In other words, the debt has been paid. Then he died, rose from the dead, defeated death. And what you have to do to have your case dismissed, to have your sins forgiven, have your death sentence commuted, is repent and trust alone in Him like you trust a parachute. You don't just believe in a parachute, you put your faith into it, you trust in it, then it will benefit you. That's called being born again, where God takes you out of darkness, brings you into light, out of death, and brings you into life. Gives you a new heart with new desires so that you love to serve Him and do that which is right instead of being a slave to your own sinful desires. So you need to really repent like today, not tomorrow, because you don't know when you're going to die. All you do is say, God, please forgive me. I've sinned against you. I've been lusting after woman and using your name as a cuss word. And you gave me life. I'm a liar and a thief. Please forgive me. Ever been on a freeway and a guy's cut you off and you feel very angry at him? You just want to shake your fist and suddenly he waves, I'm sorry. And immediately you say, oh, it's okay. I, I do the same thing myself. Uh, let's be friends. Contrition or sorrow for transgression immediately dissipates wrath. If someone says, I'm sorry, all your anger towards them goes. That's horizontally and it's the same vertically. If you come to God and say, God, I have sinned against you, I'm so sorry, God will immediately turn his wrath into mercy and he can do that because of what happened on that cross. He can legally do that. So you're going to think about what we talked about today? Yes, sir. You're going to get right with God today? Yes, sir. May I pray with you? Yes.